Um, today is... The... 30... Sometime in August. And I got, me and Ethan just got back from Bournemouth yesterday. Um, and explain what I did. There was this huge air festival, which means there was tons of planes and shit, because that's technically what happens to be in an air festival. Um, there was planes. I'm not really that interested in planes, to be honest, so I don't really get why 20,000 people stand in the middle of the pavement just to watch this fucking aeroplane that they see every day. Apart from like one aeroplane, which is this huge army one, which just like had like four some sort of engine shit, that when they went past, it made the loudest noise ever, and it it literally just like vroom, and the whole floor vibrates and it's crackling in your ears, and you get white noise afterwards, and this little kid screaming, and I just want to take a moment to say about how sh shocking it is in Bournemouth with the people. Me and Ethan, we are very um, borderline stereotypical with what we wear. Like we both are never seen out of skinny jeans unless it's like we're in Bath, and um, we didn't see one one person in skinny jeans. Not one guy, attractive or not. Well, not one girl. They were all wearing straight gen denim jeans. Straight denim jeans would make me feel sick. Except for this one guy. Literally. He had like black flicky hair, like, and he had bright blue eyes. <laughs> he has to do actions for everything I say. He had a really predominant jawline, like mine's okay, I guess, but his was like, what is it with the sound effect? And he was like six foot something, and he had like a black jacket. I had like a no, he had like a band T-shirt on and black, not skinny jeans, but no, they were shorts, black skinny shorts, but not like short shorts, like just above the knee, which I guess is okay. We can deal with it, we, we, can, we, can, we can go past that, me and him will be fine about it. And he was with his family, and he was really cute, and me and Ethan actually just like stopped just to stare at him with his family until he left. And he actually noticed, because he, as he walked away, we walked in the other direction. Also, I forgot to say, me and Ethan went on this really scary ride, and I'll put a picture up now. And we went on it, Twice. And, or, oh, the first time I loved it, but the second time I was just like, Mwah. and then we went on this ride the second time. And not the same ride, different ride. And Ethan's not very good with like spinny things. Because of the other ride, it's rocking. The second ride, it spins and he threw up on it and it's hilarious. Anyway, moving on. Why is Bournemouth built on a slope? Why is everything on a slope? We do not, we, live, we come from Portsmouth, right? Portsmouth is flat, metaphorically and literally, okay? It's flat, okay? You do not walk up any hills to go somewhere. When you walk up the, when you like walk up the high street, that's metaphorical, you're walking up the high street, you're, you're walking through the high street. Now in Bournemouth, it's not. You're walking up the high street. It takes you like, well, it takes me and Ethan 20 minutes to walk through there because we have to rest. It kills your legs and everything is built on different, like, the high street goes like that. And then the road comes off it, which goes like that. And then the road is like that, it goes like that. So it's just it's constantly, like you're in some sort of Pac-Man game. Even though Pac-Man has nothing to do with that. But we spent most of our time indoors watching Misfits and Skins. We actually got through like three series of each. And um, with, with Skins, I kind of kind of got... You can thumbs up if you agree with both of this. Skins and Misfits all got kind of shit after like the third, fourth series. Because they just wipe out the whole cast that you kind of built some sort of emotional attachment to. And like related it with the program. And then they bring in these new people like... I guess with skins they kept Effie, but as hot as she is, bring back Sid. And Misfits and Nathan just goes. Why does he just go? Like, I know like he has to go with his new wife, who he met like in one day, and they had a kid. So stupid. Like Nathan would not never make that commitment. And Tony and Michelle just go to different universities. 
Cassie and Sid are off in America. Chris is dead. I'm sorry if anyone's watching this. He hasn't got up to that bit yet. Actually, I'm not sorry because I was sat at McDonald's today and then decides to tell me that um, Leisha's throat gets slit in series, end of series three in Misfits. I didn't know that. Thank you. But my favourite character is probably um, begins with K. How I forgot Kelly. There you go. Kelly's my favourite because she is just so funny and she just doesn't give a crap. Like, I'm a fucking rocket scientist. Worst impression I've done. I'll do a better one, really. <coughs> right, scrape it back. What'd you say? I didn't say anything. Such a chav. You what? Wanker. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so I just thought I'd do this quick because I haven't done one in eight. I keep looking at the watch to try and guess the date and the amount of time that I haven't done a vlog for. I'm pretty sure a watch tells the time, not the date, or how long it's been since the last time you did a vlog. Well, that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? And it's just 10 to 7. Not, not when you're watching this. But now, you're watching in the past. This is 10 to 7. It's like an hour ago. Or however long ago it is since when you were watching it. That's all we have time for on the Summer Louise show. It's not going to be a thing. Stop making that. But, well. um, I wish you all. Ooh! It's probably like a week ago. So, at the, end, at the end of every single video I do, I'm gonna leave recommended songs for you all to listen to. So, here are mine Real Friends, I've Given Up on You. The Story So Far, Every Song by Them. The Gorillas, Two Binge. The Gorillas, Super Fast Jellyfish. Uh, they're all dead. It's in the Misfits. It's the one in series two, episode six. Who got good memories? The one where they all die and they become famous. And Simon's like, they're all dead, and it's really dramatic. Um, Rapture Echoes, which is the Misfits theme tune. You know, dun 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 dun. Stop singing, Summer. Oh, my favorite song at the moment is um. Neck deep over and over. I, I don't. I, I do know that, but my memory is just kind of going because I feel shit today. But neck deep over and over is such a good song. I literally have not. I can't. I. 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 I, I, I so there you go. You're welcome. It's it's Halloween in two months today, and I'm going as someone from Misfits. We're all going as someone from Misfits. That's how sad we are. No, we're not going as someone from Misfits. But we're all dressing up in the jumpsuits. The um probation. The um, community service jumpsuits. We're all getting them off eBay, and I'm gonna actually write community blowback on mine, like Nathan did. But that's what we're all wearing. But we're all going as different characters, or whatever we want to be. Just wearing. I'm actually going as a character. I'm going as you know in series three, episode one, I think it is. No, series two, episode one, where Simon's ex kind of girlfriend comes back, who was in the asylum home. The one with the black hair and like the big eyebrow. She's a shapeshifter. I'm going as her. I'm gonna put my hair back and I'm gonna put my extensions in so it's all gonna be long and I'm gonna spray paint it black and I'm gonna get circle black lenses and I'm basically gonna hide myself so I'm gonna wear this choker but paint on um, wires around it and like put blood and blood out my eye and blood everywhere, shut on the ceiling that's gonna be really fun um, bye